Hello, it's Joanna here. I'm glad you are here with me. Look at this beautiful Christmas fabric. It's stunning. Dark turquoise with brown and copper. I want to use it today and I will making a notebook for notes about preparation for Christmas. And prepare something and then, okay something like this this one is from last year only a little one the base of the cover will be in this Christmas paper the sides are perfectly for what I want to do it's a five and I'll put it on half I chose this first one the fabric will go on the side with the inscription and cover it completely. On the other side, there is no pattern. I don't want it white, so I'll dye, dye it with coffee. Make it more vintage and, and I let it dry. I'll use a heat gun we already have it dry now i will cut the fabric according to this side i tear it off because i want a little frayed edges i will turn i turn it over look at the first edge cut and I tear it off. Okay, now opposite. Now the last shorter side. Okay, it fits. I will glue the fabric to the cardboard. I put the glue only in the middle, not on the edges. Because I want to saving it. So that the saving machine does not stick. I want to sew it around to make it look more interesting and it will also be stronger. It will look good. Okay, we have it sewn up. I'll cut the threads.
inside I want to put paper papers that are also also dyed with coffee I already have them ready it's uh, three a4 pages I cut them in half and bend them in half again so we go to 12 sheets and that's one signature the cover is there for A6 A, I will staple the papers to the spin with an office stapler it's fast and holds up well I'll put one clip up and do one down it doesn't matter that the staples are visible on the spine because uh, I will still cover them I want to use laces this could be it but I'll try something else This one is narrow. I'll try one more. Mm. I think the first one was the best, right? Let's use the first one. I'll see how it looks when the notebook is closed. Well, I think it's great. Okay, decided. It'll be this one. I'm going to cut this end to make it straighter. But it's a bit bright, so I'll definitely use coffee and something else, maybe. There is a nice metallic copper in the cover. I have great metallic acrylic pens that will work. So I'll put some paint in a little bowl. Now I snore it. Oh, not this way. A little more. It can be good. I'll let it dry again. Let's look at it. Okay. Great. Let's go glue it. 
I'll take a brush put glue on the lace it doesn't matter if the glue gets on the other side it's good for spine okay that's what we should be done And now we're going to improve the cover and decorate a bit. I would like to put a label on top. So I'm thinking what to use. I'm going to use the same lace and we will dye it again with coffee and copper. Keep it similar. I'm not going to snort the pen anymore, but I am just dabbing with uh, the brush here and there. When I can't move, I look around and project a bit to see what would fit the overall look. Then come back and I have an idea. I have a piece of paper here. I use it for watercolor on. And on the other side of this paper, there is coffee, which will be good. I think the lighter piece is more interesting. I'm going to make a label for the inscription of this paper. I tear it so it doesn't have regular shapes. Okay, the size could probably be. Now, what about that? I tried the lace. Only part of this lace will be enough. What about up? No, it's kind of boring knot. The lace is a little bit long, I'll cut it off, 
okay on this side or this side one more no I don't like it but I have to put something here it's kind of empty well, I think about it, I'm going to distress the edges of label with the brown ink. I will write the year 2022. Okay, what next? I still have to come up with something for that. After all the label is quite white and something is missing. I choose some stencils and inks. I'll try to use some of it of them. This ink is a little bit purple and this stencil with snowflakes can work i'll try it like this on the edge okay it's quite light but still works even from the other side And I would give more from the bottom. Well, it can be. Let's put it this aside. Now I'll put it together somehow. I am still missing something here, but I don't know what. I have something to think about. On the cover it's brown and copper. I would like something in the dark brown. I found such thin wooden slices. And I like this brown color. It's already turned here, so I'll use this piece. It splits in one direction. So I have to force it a little. I'm going to break this straight edge. Okay, let's try. What about that? Like this. Well, what do you think? It fits perfectly. I'll try another direction. I don't like it. It's better on this side. But it's so long. I have 
have shortened it I'll take off a little more it's okay it also covers the very part in the middle that happened there okay maybe we are going to glue a little more order The label is on the lace and if I stick it directly it uh, won't look good. I want it to be nice, straight and plastic, keep the line. I have to put something thicker under it so I will use tape to okay. step by step, first the lower part. It was probably here somewhere. Now the lace. the label it's a little slipper on the glue But I've got it. Stick, stick up. All right. The glue doesn't stick somehow. I probably didn't give enough of glue. I'll wipe it off a little. Nothing will be seen, don't worry. Just to be sure, I'll put it under heavy books, let it hold. I'll put it in foil so it doesn't stick the books it's definitely dried out we can continue we are going to come up with something inside I would like a pocket here I cut a piece of paper like this but it's a bit big it can be under signature so we cut it this might be enough well, it's a perfect fit. What are we going to do with this paper? I have this little piece of fabric here. I could put it on the top.
Mm. Okay. So I'm going to stitch it around. Okay, seven up. I will cut these scraps and threads. Okay, let's see what you look like. I don't like the edges a bit. I'll cut more of them off. Okay, well, it can be. Now I'll distress the edges with the brown ink. After that, I will distress the edges and sides in wall notebook. So we glue I'm going to put the glue in a stick on three sides leaving an opening from the top Okay, what else? Something, something. I would be good, it would be good to use something in a copper color. Something from the cover. Let it fit together, let it be similar inside. I will fill the notebook with tasks that I want to complete by Christmas to plan everything so that I am not stressed when and what I have to do so that I don't have to keep everything in my head decoration, gifts, meals, sweets
So I'll finish it and then you'll see the result. So this is what it looks like. The size is perfect for me. It doesn't take up much space, but I can fit all my notes in there and I can even take it in my purse for shopping. The fabric is really beautiful. Write in the comments where you would use this fabric. I hope you liked this video and had a good time. Bye bye.